What we're going to build is a replica of an old carnival game that in large scale looks something like this. Only in the carnival game there would be a steel track, a big steel track, and uh, there would be a bowling ball. And the object is to take the bowling ball and roll it and have it end up right in this dip right here. Not come back, that's it. Uh, I'm Don Ratchin from the Exploratorium Teacher Institute and let's start right in. Here the bookshelf bracket is going to be the track and this is the base and with either some small screws or nails or this double stick tape you can take the track that you make and mount it on the base. Uh, one trick to this is when you bend this don't bend it sharply. Once you get a sharp bend in it you throw it away and start over again but it's not very expensive. Uh, so the way I'm going to bend this, just to show you it can be done, is I'm gently going to put my fingers there and bend it. And you can see I've got a curve in it now. In the real device, this is about 18 inches. This is about 6 inches for the hill. And how you bend it here isn't really too crucial. The hill is about a half an inch high. Let's have a guest come in who has never done this before. There's no learning curve here. Uh, and we'll see how successful our guest ball roller here is wow. at rolling it from this end and getting it to stay right there. Okay, Charlie, well, it's all yours. Thanks. Okay. Stay right there. Okay. Okay, that's a dollar. <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> no, just try it again. You've got the idea. You're quite good at this. Oh, no. Oh. That's two. All right. Three, okay. You get the idea, it's not trivial. That's very hard. Yes, it is. And if you wanted to make it even harder, you can make the same kind of track, but make the hill just slightly smaller, just not quite as high. And that makes it even harder. Really? Uh, and this is a marble, and you can use big marbles or small marbles. Uh, and what I've done here is taken uh, small screws or nails and put it on here permanently, but this double stick foam tape will hold it on there fine for temporary use. So what does it do? Well, if you take this ball and roll it, you're doing work on the ball. So I'm giving it a, pushing it with a force through a distance. Once I do that, it's got kinetic energy. Right here, it trades the kinetic energy for potential energy, then it trades it back to kinetic energy, then it trades it to gravitational potential energy, comes back down, and there's this trading process, and if there were no friction, it would be impossible to do this. But there is friction, and that's the trick. There's just enough friction, and if you do it just right, and I don't know, oh no, that's probably, oh, oh, there we have it. <laughs> what can I say? Have a good time. I'll do it. Uh, yes!